Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Uh, what are we at like video number nine? It's going to be posted because uh, I'm going to be re-recording my recap video because uh, I guess I still have some, some, some subconscious uh, um, subconscious inhibitions about posting that video. Uh, I want to re-record it because uh, there's something that I want to add. I want to change a couple little things and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get there. I promise I will get there. I'm saying that to myself more so than you guys, uh, but I will do it. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today or this evening, because it's a little bit of a later video today, um, I <clears throat> want to talk about this one. I'm pulling a little bit of inspiration from my boy Bob Proctor. Uh, if you don't know Bob Proctor, look him up because he is a bloody wizard. Uh, he's a genius and very, very smart. Uh, very smart man, or at least he was. Uh, but this one is a beautiful, beautiful reflection. The man was speaking inadvertently about the Holy Trinity. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And when I ask you who you are, you will probably tell me that, say, I am Samuel Stolberg. But... I am not Samuel Stolberg. Samuel Stolberg are just some words that were given to me by my parents when I was born. That's not who I am. Then you might say, well, this is me. And well, no, that's just simply your body. It is a part of you, but it is not you. You don't call up when you're in sick, say, my body will not be in today. You say, I will not be in today. You don't refer to this as you. This is your hand. This is my hand. This is my hand. That is my foot. This is my body. So this is me. This is a part of me, I should say. We all seem to forget that we are living in three planes of existence and those three planes of existence are what make you you and those three planes of existence are that you are a spiritual being with an intellect so that's your mind and you are and you have a body I should say your body is not you it is a part of you the problem that we have is that probably about 95% of the population live in the physical world and they allow that physical world to then influence them completely so they 100% live in the intellectual and in the physical world a lot of people then also sit into the intellectual world uh, and I often let the intellectual take over me sometimes and, and that's why I'm a, like, I, I enjoy philosophy and it's, it's a part of being a philosopher. One day I will be, a, be known as a philosopher. Uh, but those are just two parts of your being. We seem to forget the spiritual part. So you are a spiritual being and your spiritual being is beyond your intellectual mind and it's beyond your physical body it is well beyond the physical world that we exist in and it operates in a very completely different plane so what are your thoughts about that what are your thoughts on your own existence and are you part of that 95 percent that basically lives in the physical world and allows the physical world to completely influence them or do you live in a higher state of being where you get to allow your intellect to also influence you? Uh, and do you let your soul or your spirit influence you? And if you let your spirit influence you, how do you allow that to influence you? 
So to go into the Holy Trinity, I believe that we need a balance of all three levels of those planes. So we need a balance of all of them for this existence in this world, in this reality, in this state of existence that you are experiencing me, however you are ingesting me right now, whether you are listening, reading, or uh, watching me, however you are ingesting me right now, those three states of existence are required for you to live what I believe would be a balanced life. And that issue is, and, and a, lot of, a lot of the problems in this world are because we get that unbalance of that trinity. So you might be leaning too much into the physical world, into the, um, into the sun aspect of my Holy Trinity framework. Some people, like myself, I get caught up into the mind aspect. So that's the father aspect of the Holy Trinity. So that's the philosophy. So that's overthinking. I overthink the shit out of everything. Uh, and that kind of comes with the territory of what I'm trying to do and overanalyze and everything like that. But uh, I need to be very careful of that at times and I do get caught out a lot of the time. Um, and then we just simply seem to forget the Holy Spirit arm of that Trinity. We seem to forget that that is a part of our existence. Once again, you are a spiritual being having a physical experience in this realm. You have been called down to, in, to this earth to experience this reality, to experience listening to me right now, waffle on about you experiencing me right now. So <laughs> I'm keen to hear your thoughts about that though. And is there a way that you think that you could potentially uh, balance out your Trinity? Do you think it is unbalanced? Uh, and what are the things that you're going to do to potentially change your state of awareness of your own existence within this reality. Thank you, Bob Proctor, for uh, influencing this video and, and, and sparking my imagination with this video. Um, and the Holy Trinity, the, the more I dig into it, the more I um, break down the idea and concept of it, the more it actually pops up into my world. And, and I think that uh, the, the power of three, you, you listen to, uh, uh, if you believe, Nikola Tesla, uh, you know, 369, very, very powerful, fundamental parts of creation. Um, and the Holy Trinity can be found in a lot of places within this, uh, in, within this existence. Um, and once again, I believe that we do need that, that harmony and the balance of that Trinity to be able to, to live a balanced life uh, and for you to live fully as the way that you were supposed to live in this reality. But anyway, I'm going to leave it on that one. Uh, I'm on my way to Alex's place for dinner um, and then I am going to get up, stay at his, have a sleepover, uh, and I'm going to get up early in the morning and go do another meditation and swim at sunrise um, because whilst I can't go to the gym I don't really have too much else to do in the mornings and I'm still waking up super early in the morning so I uh, gotta love that body clock but it's good and it's a cracking way to, to start the day so um, yeah made it this far I am keen to hear your thoughts guys um, can hear your thoughts about the Holy Trinity as always and um, yeah let me know let me know thank you thank you thank you and as always uh, catch you in the next video much love and namaste